Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to be playing Smite, and this is, of course, a part of our Smite Arena video gameplay series where we, and by we, I mean I, um, am going to be covering every god in Smite and Arena. And the reason this series exists is because I feel that Arena gameplay in Smite is a ton of fun, and there's a lot of strategy to it, um, and that I don't feel that there's really enough good coverage on YouTube um, in any really clear medium as to how to be effective with individual gods in Arena. I just don't feel that that is available for the masses. And gosh, that is just, that is just a, you are something special, Specked on Mega. <clears throat> this is an interesting game. We had an on her who insta locked. We had a Scylla who saw that clearly I had a warrior um, picked and she was not going to go tank. I guess they are going to say. Um, oh, and they're asking if I can play Emir. Wow, you are just some. You are just some. You are amazing. And you know what? I want to do it. Sure. Sure. Anything for you guys. F you. F you all. Especially. Especially spec on Mega, I was going to say. Oh my god. He better be so good at Scylla. And, and here's the double edged sword about this. And uh, I guess we're going to be doing an Amir video. <laughs> I thought we were doing Osiris, but I guess it's Amir. Who cares? Um. What I actually think is good sometimes is that people will pick the gods they feel very comfortable with. and um, Or they've been playing a lot. Either way, it kind of amounts to the same thing. They're going to do well with that god, typically. typically. Now, there's, there's those people who are just um, wanting to get mastery, and they need one god and uh, one worshiper, and they don't care whether they're good or not. They just want to master all the gods. Um, I mean that that could be this guy. I mean this guy has a has a little bunny on her. He's got a little bunny uh, icon and a Smite World Championship icon. Seems like he cares about shit like that, uh, which I don't. But you know, typically I find that it's annoying, um, but it, it works. It works because people end up being good with those gods. That's the bottom line. I took an hour to say that. Basically, the people who end up insta locking hopefully are good with the gods they insta lock and have a good reason to do it. Um, so, just adjusting to the team plan um, will help to make a you know a good game. And, and guys, I don't want to get into a uh, a fight with these people. I don't want to pick somebody out of smite. Ooh, you see what I did there? Ooh, pick somebody out of smite. Um, I just want to do what's best for the team and 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 win. So I chose to go for a tank. And so Emir is a one of the old school gods, man. He is a he is one of the old dudes. He is like the granddaddy of Smite, and he is still alive and well in competitive play. You'll see him feature quite often because he brings so much utility to the game, and he's a really fun god to play. He, for those of you who like um, control and not not that kind of sadistic, uh, dangerous control, you, you guys need to not be watching this channel and. Um, <laughs> I, I don't really have an answer in Smite for you guys who uh, need that kind of control. But for you guys who like video game control and gods that can control situations um, pretty well, uh, I would suggest actually uh, Emir as a really good choice. Um, he's not necessarily a first pick for me in Arena as a Guardian, but he is a, he is relatively top tier. I'd, I'd, I'd basically say second tier in terms of Arena. Um, he lacks a little bit of mobility, um, and his damage, though, comes from utility, and I think that that is, uh, that is always a good thing for a tank to have utility. It really just depends how you play him. He's not going to be an Ares who can just shove out that much damage over time and create, but he does create easy targets, and that's kind of what you kind of you want from your tank, right? Easy targets. Now, is my team going with me, or are they a little scared of Ares? Okay, they are. Okay, so what I want to do is counter-initiate with a blink uh, as Ares initiates onto my team. And so let's see if we can do that and stay out of combat because it doesn't work unless there is combat. 
Um, because Ares is gonna initiate. He's going to. And let's see if I can basically counter initiate. I hope this plan works. Okay, let's stop him from getting damaged there. Okay, and can we get out? Mm, I think that answered my question. Pretty convincingly, with my horde death. Oh god. <clears throat> Let's jump back in there. And we did, however, trade favorably there. And we are going to get this kill because of that stun. And again, the great thing about Emir is that easy target with that freeze. So let me walk you through Emir's ability. <laughs> Emir's abilities. Let me walk you through Emir's abilities this evening. Um, so all of Emir's abilities affect, that affect enemies apply a debuff to the enemy called Frostbite. All of Emir's basic melee strikes against the target afflicted by Frostbite do 100% more damage. So that means after you go ahead and stun somebody, right, you can go and hit them and it'll be double damage. Normally that would have done like 36 or something is what that means. Um, is that right? 36? 20? Nah, I'm, ba I'm not that great at math. Anyways, <clears throat> back to what that actually means is that I've seen Amir be played um, by High Res Bart back in the day and some other people in the Smite community just like physical damage. Like they just basically build like all physical damage weapons like you would for a tank um, for him because of this buff. And you can get some serious crits. Like, this guy can really knock you out. I mean, look at this big, big club. And I've got the demon skin, of course, so everything is a little bit demonized here. Okay, and so get away, guys. Get away. He is trying to ult you. Before we can get out, let's lay that down. I think we should have a kill on Ares. Um, gosh, not enough, huh? Okay, we did get him. Now let's see who we can help... And let's stop that retreat. Mm, not enough. Oh well. Unfortunate. Uh, let's retreat. retreat. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <clears throat> pretend that I was gonna help him there. I was not. If they started attacking him, I was gonna run so hard. But you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta pretend, right? So again, as a tank, I'm gonna go with Sovereignty. I think that item is too good to pass up as a tank. And let's use our Blink. We haven't used our Blink in a minute. Oh boy, ow. We are not happy about that. Or about any of those. I'm gonna have to look at my replays. I gotta study my mistakes. Be a man, we must be swift as a coursing river Till all the force of a great typhoon With all the strength of a raging demon That freezes its enemies to make them die soon Be a man <clears throat> No escape no escape. Godlike. Death. Frostbite. Oh. Let's get a little damage. Basically what my ultimate will do, and I realize we haven't finished covering the ability, so um, I do have to get out of here. The best thing for me to do is to go back and... Um, get myself in a position to help the fight if it is still going on. I am useless there without my abilities. Amir without mana is uh, nothing. Get walled. You want to get walled? Then come on! A little bit of uh, boasting there. What's an arena without a couple boasts? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Okay, so by doing that we delayed his advance there. Put him in a pretty bad health deficit so he'll think twice about jumping in. 
and ulting because he knows he'll probably die due to the damage. Ares' ultimate is not great. And guys, for those who really want to know Amir's abilities, there you go. Press pause. Press pause. Press pause. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm doing right now because I, I just... We gotta, we gotta focus on the game here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And rather than re-engage, I'm going to wait. I'm gonna tell my team right I'm gonna be right back. Get my mana up. Finish Sovereignty, which will really help our team. And jump back into the fight. Now, I like to use Blink on Emir sometimes, but I haven't really found a lot of opportunities to utilize it well. Um, my team is not as you... Well, let's see if we can do it now. Okay, I think he's in trouble. Mm -hmm. Put that wall so he couldn't escape. By using his escape ability to attack, he put himself in a... Basically an all-in. It was an all-in. If I don't kill all five of you, I have no way to get out of here and I'm going to die. And I mean, I don't think that's a good logical all in but guys the arena is not just about logic it's about heart and passion if you want to kill me you're gonna kill me because sometimes wanting something means that it'll happen if you want it bad enough you just gotta want it bad enough Jimmy and we're gonna ult to get out of that Ugh. Wow, executed. I think he's killed me twice. Thanatos. Hmm. Melquire. Melquire's skills are sponsored by Emir Shitty Play. Make sure to check out more shitty plays of Emir by looking up Rain Day Gaming. You're not stop stop. You're not stop stop for shitty Amir plays. No, that it's not that bad. Honestly, um, just just poor luck there. Mm, let's go with. This is an important decision. And I think I need to look at this. Whoa, do you guys looking at how much damage that just? Okay. I'm gonna actually go with uh, Void Bulwark. Let's go with Bull. Mm, yeah, we're gonna go with Void. The reason I chose Void is because it's relatively just as similar in terms of magical protection as uh, Void Zone. It's about only 10 more, and the 60 damage will help me be more of a threat. Um, the idea is I wanna set up the kills for my teammates, so if I have a little bit more magic damage to be able to uh, initiate and bring my enemy players they're not mine but bring enemy players to a uh, lower percentage of health before my team attacks well, I'm gonna be in a good position and my team's gonna be in a good position so let's see what we can do here with a nice and I'm gonna basically say attack And that should be that. And let's see if I can get out of here. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Melquire, I am sponsoring your freaking life. You're welcome. Should I put my donation check to your charity cause in the mail or deliver to you in person? Are you a 501c nonprofit? What the mother f, bitch. Bitch ass Melquire. What kind of a name is that? Melquire. What are you like a... I mean, what, what are you? What does that mean? Does anyone can you even think of what that means? A guy named Mel who likes to sing choir music? Really? Really? No. No. You know what? Thanatos has got to go. I realized just now, Melquire, Thanatos, you've got to go. She eyes, I helped you live. Shut down. Oh my god. 
Melquire got another kill. Hmm. F you, Melquire. Not today. Not today. Yes, today. And then I need to blink as soon as possible. Oh. Okay. I was like, is someone following me? No, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, God. Okay, Melquire, that's for you. Melquire is dead. Melquire needs to be so dead right now. Oh, my God. Melquire. Run of Mel. Oh. Bitch. Yes. No, no one's around. Didn't you guys see what just happened? Dead though. Dead though. Dead though. Oh my god. No, guys, we gotta get Melquire. We gotta get Melquire. We gotta get Melquire. We gotta get Melquire. No! 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 <laughs> what? Oh my god. How did he survive? That is baloney. F you, Scylla. Get out of here. Oh. Okay, guys, so we are up by... Let me put my petty arguments against Melquire and the existence of his name in the bag right now. And we're going to go and just make some plays. Oh, we are not going to make... Did I just basically say what we weren't going to do? Basically, we're going to go not make plays? This effing... Guys, the goal of the game is actually not to win. What what happens when we win is we kill Melquire. Then the game is over. It's all about effing Melquire. Do not go, Melquire. You know I'm after you only. How is he immune? Okay, this guy. This effing guy. Is it just me? Is it just me? It can't just be me. You guys also have to want to kill him, right? Right? Oh, I'm taking the damage buff. I am taking this damage buff. And so I am 1 and 3 and 10... The only thing really keeping me and us in this game is the fact that I am helping involve our team in the kills that we are getting. Now, we are not doing as good a job as they are. And we're letting Melquire run rampant right now. He's 6-0, and and I'm part of that. And this is, just, this is just unacceptable. But you know what? We gotta stay focused. Melquire will come. If you build it... Get that stun out beforehand and put the damage on. That was a good play. That was what we were looking for. I'm basically this motherfucking Ares. Oh my god, guys. Melquire is basically. No one gets it. No one gets it. Why is. Why. Why are. Why are my teammates not following me? Oh, if Melquire kills me right now. Oh, he tried. He tried so hard. He was so close. Oh, man. Done, man. <clears throat> Why did they stop trying to kill me? I think they would have gotten it. I really need this breastplate of valor. Unstoppable. <sighs> oh <my> God. <sighs> wow, indeed. Wow, indeed, guys. Thanks, guys. Did you just say that? Thanks, guys. Scylla? Did you really say that? What are you, Scylla? Are you... Are you one and two? Yes, you are. I'm just gonna get taken by that. 
I don't really care at this point with that. Melquire's not here. So what's the point of fighting? On her. Why did you do that? Why did you go in the corner by yourself? Let's see if I can help him here. Oh, shit. Not even that that wall would do anything. They're just running rampant on us. Oh my god, pushed him out of my ultimate. This is really unbelievable. I mean, I believe it. I definitely believe that this is happening, but this is just this. Oh my god, guys. No. F you guys. Let Melfire die. Let him die once. What's the point, guys? What's the point of playing a tank if your team does not follow up on what you set up? Mm, man, this guy is just too, too evasive. Basically, this is my chance. This is my opportunity. Yeah! 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 Melquire! You felt the wrath of Emil! The game is over! Are you not entertained? Smite fans, are you not entertained? We have done it all. Now, you want to run there? No, you can't. And you can't win anymore. You know why? Because Melquire's dead. You know why? Because Melquire's dead. <laughs> Guys, I did it. I did it. Okay, okay, okay. I think we just need some damage right now. We just need a little bit more damage. God, this blink was worthless. Okay, okay, that's good. Gosh darn it, that darn Melquire. Did that Ares go damage? No, he just kind of built like me. Gosh. No. Oh. No, no. You will not die. Wall. This damn Ares. This damn Ares, man. Keep him separate. This mudda effa. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be the guy. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you that. That was. <clears throat> I can't tell you that that was a good game. And I can't tell you that that was how you should play Ymir and get completely sidetracked trying to destroy your arch nemesis who is a man named Mel who loves choirs. But I do have to say that when you're playing for so little and you know your team is not going to win it's the little things that count. It's the kills on this guy that counts. Now, really, guys, going back to the analytical, <laughs> not pathological, psychotic, deranged killer seeking the death of only Melquire that I had been uh, portraying over the last 10 minutes of this game. Uh, we did not do a good job, and this is one of those situations where the auto lockers got the best of us. Our on her auto locked first pick, and he went four and eight. Hmm, not what you want. Arcilla also knew that I was an Osiris to begin with, stayed a Scylla instead of going a tank, and went one and three. I don't know if you guys seen my Scylla video, but um, that's not a good score for Scylla. She needs to be not only positive destroying 
doing something like this for the kill death ratio. I went 13 and 0 when I played her. Um, it's just not acceptable to pick Scylla and affect the team, force someone else to be a tank when you are clearly not picked your character before this person and then go one and three. Um, you know, it's just you gotta perform better if you do that. You gotta perform better if you do that. Um, Melquire, those early feeds that I gave him and that our team continued to give him made it so that he really, really carried their game in the team in terms of damage. Hell was also fantastic in terms of damage as well. I bet she put out a lot of damage. Um, 15,000 player damage, not that much. Their Scylla really put out a lot of damage. Jeez Louise. Um, our Poseidon did pretty well in terms of damage, but that's really not all that we can look at here. In terms of damage mitigated, 33,000 is fine. Um, but this really wasn't a game that should be looked at and kept in the annals of Smite, uh, Smite history here. This is just a game where some people auto-locked. We weren't able to pick a really good team, had to take a tank, and uh, didn't perform too well. But I think it is a good example of the fact that these are the situations that happen in Arena. I think it was a pretty interesting game. <laughs> and uh, I do think that finally getting that that vindicated kill on Melquire with the uh, skill shot of the number two um, was was pretty fun. And I think that was worth it for me. Um, after all, you know, you got to play for something and you can't always get the win. So find something fun to make a game about. Um, guys, if you did like the content, even though I didn't win, it's still a good game. Um, please click like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below. Share your thoughts on the build. See if you like it. What would you have done differently in this situation? Is there a way you see that I could have done something different to turn this game around? Personally, I didn't think I used Blink enough to have warranted that early pickup. So I would, next time in the same situation, not have picked up Blink that early and gone into my boots faster um, and then my sovereignty a little bit quicker as well. But let me know what you think, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Never give up. Never stop gaming. And as always... I'll see you guys next time.